What's going through your mind on that opening kickoff? Uh, just read my blocks, uh, hit the hole, and, and uh, run from my, run as good as I can. When you run down the sideline, how good of a feeling is it? I mean, what, what, what goes through your mind when you, when you just see a hole like that, you know, like, hey, I get, I get scored? Yeah, definitely just to uh, help out the team, you know, uh, run, uh, get to the end zone, um, and, and do what I can. Is the most important thing on that play, don't get caught? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> especially by a kicker. You don't never want to get caught by a kicker. Now, David, you've had some, you know, two big plays today. What's What's been the key to your game so far? Uh, continuing to learn, uh, continuing to get better day by day, and then just learning from uh, the veterans around me, uh, Andre and Carson. How does this, I mean, is this kind of surreal to have all the success with Ricky so early? I mean, uh, I just go out there and, and do what I can to help out the team. Uh, I'm glad that I did have the opportunities to uh, help out our team and get points on the board. Coach Arian says he your plate didn't change at all as far as your role. Is it is you starting to feel more comfortable now out there? Yeah, definitely. Um, as the season starts progressing, I definitely start getting more comfortable, start uh, playing uh, how I can, how I do, and then uh, just keep keep on helping out the team. Did you know you only had uh, the kicker to beat out by that time? By the time you got to the midfield? Yeah, uh, and there were great blocks that I had. Uh, Kerwin Williams was one of them, <laughs> and, uh, and they opened up the hole for me. All I had to do was run. <laughs> Um, I, I have a, yeah, it's tough to me, basically, uh, what I'm reading, uh, hopefully, uh, with some good blocks, uh, it's, it's all up to me, coach, relies on me for that. What goes through your head when you're playing? Um, probably looking at leverages, uh, looking at if I have an open hole, first off, and then uh, catching the ball and, and getting yards. Seeing great blocks. I mean, everyone was on their guys, and I seen a, a huge hole. And I mean, all I had to do was run through that hole and, and get the yards. These past seven days maybe been the best week of your life. Yeah, it's been a great time. Hopefully, I can continue to improve and continue to help out the team. Well, how does it make you feel when there's, there's people that, that doubt you, and people that, that criticize you and say, "Oh, David can't do it at this level." You've had a lot of that uh, throughout your career. Uh, it motivates me. Uh, most definitely motivates me. Uh, keep, makes me uh, keep wanting to go and get better day by day. Uh, makes me want to get in the playbook. Makes me want to just prove all those guys are wrong. How much does all the support you get from all your uh, friends and family back in Clinton and Nathan, How much does that help to get where you are today? Oh, they've helped me a lot. I mean, I've uh, all my friends and family back in Clinton. They've, they've done a lot for me growing up. Uh, helped me get to places. Helped me with uh, a lot of the things that I had to struggle with growing up. Do you envision this kind of start to your NFL career? No, not at all. I mean, I mean, this is a great start, and hopefully, I can uh, continue to keep it up. How's it feel to do something like that? Limited, limited snaps, too. Oh, it feels great. I mean, it feels amazing. I'm gonna have to definitely sit back and just think about uh, everything that I've done to help out the team, and just, just soak it in and uh, continue to get better. Though, at the end of the day. With this being kind of a pseudo home game for you, with you being close to home, how emotionally charged were you for this game? Very emotional. I had a lot of people here, a lot of friends, and a lot of family, so uh, it gave me an extra boost. It gave me extra motivation to go out and, and uh, help out the team. Was it pressure to do well today knowing that? No, not at all. I don't think it was any pressure. Uh, my team and the coaches helped me uh, get ready, helped me prepare for the, t uh, the game coming up. How often do you talk to friends and family back home? Oh, all the time. Uh, whenever I do get time, uh, pretty busy. But, I mean, I talk to them, let them know that the game's in Chicago. They already know it's in Chicago. They're already excited for it. So, I mean, I talk to them all the time whenever I could. What adjustments have you had to make from Clinton to UNI to now? What's some of the bigger adjustments you've uh, found you've had to make? Probably just uh, blitz pickup, probably, and then just um, realizing what, where to run the ball at, uh, knowing how to uh, set up blocks, knowing how to read my holes, and uh, learning how to, um, I mean everything, learning plays, learning different techniques and everything. Are you even amazed yourself at the start you're having right now? Oh, no, no. I mean, um, uh, it's a blessing to, that I had the opportunity to uh, help out the team the way I have, and hopefully I can continue to do that. David, could you just talk about that opening kickoff, what that was like? Oh, that was an amazing feeling. I mean, I had great blocks. Uh, I had a huge hole. All I had to do was beat out the kicker, and uh, it's definitely a huge momentum swing, especially with we didn't even – it was the first uh, kick return, and it was a huge momentum swing for our team.